said, no, I'm on time. Sometimes you think Jesus is showing up late in the situation. Can I tell you what you call late? God calls on time. You didn't hear me. I said, what you call late, God calls on time. Thank you. 
of praise is what Jesus wore. You see, because now he would get ready. It was the week of Passover. And now he would come to the triumphant entry. You see, the Israelites had a distorted picture of what their Savior would look like. They thought Jesus would come riding on the back of a white horse to conquer Rome and become the king of an earthly kingdom. But Jesus didn't come to rule and reign over an earthly kingdom. The Bible says that when Jesus came, he came riding on the back of a colt, a young donkey, a symbol of peace, not of war and of triumph, but rather a symbol of peace, symbolic that Jesus represented the Prince of Peace. Not only would he be king, but he would also be a prince of peace as he came riding down the streets on the back of a donkey people waved palm branches in the air they took their cloaks they laid them on the ground all as a symbol of praise as they placed them on the ground Jesus would walk over them the donkey would walk over them and the people would shout out loud with their voices raised with their fists pumped Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. The priest got mad and upset and told Jesus, silence these people. They're speaking blasphemy. Jesus said, if I tell them to be quiet, I tell you, even the rocks would cry out and praise me because he was worthy of the praise. The people continued to shout, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. After the triumphant entry, it came to a time 
where Jesus would go up to a room and partake of a meal like he had before many times. Jesus would sit around a campfire and break bread and give fish. But this night would be special because this night would literally be his last supper with his disciples. Everything had a special meaning and great significance. Today, he looked at the bread and he was more thoughtful than ever. And as he grabbed the bread, he held it up. He blessed it. The Bible says, and then he broke it. And as he gave the disciples each a piece of bread, he began to describe to them what the bread meant. He said, listen, this bread is my body and it is broken for you. Eat it and do this in remembrance of me. The disciples took that bread and they began to eat the bread. Afterwards, he took the cup, a cup full with wine. He held the cup up to heaven and he blessed the cup because the cup was symbolic now of his blood that would be shed. That blood that would seal and make a new covenant. He took of the cup and he drank from it. And when he drank from it, he began to pass the cup down. And he says, drink, drink. This blood is now a new covenant in my blood. And he says, every time that you drink of this cup, every time that you eat of this bread, you are going to announce my return. You see, because that bread wasn't just bread. That bread was a symbol of Jesus' body. His body that would be broken and bruised. That body that would die so that they could have life. That bread was the bread of life. 